morning children so we will be starting the annual term chapters okay syllabus so uh, the chapter today is chapter 3 the voice of the rain it is written by walt whitman so let's give let's read the central idea of the poem what is the gist of the poem the poem the voice of the rain by walt whitman signifies the eternal role that the rain plays in nurturing quenching and purifying the various elements of earth so the voice of the rain the, talks the importance of the rain which gives the earth nurture, nurturing means to nurse after quenching means to to the thirst okay and purifying means to something which uh, which is uh, purified okay which is uh, which is filtered to elements of the earth the rain returns the favor to its place of the origin from where it rises unseen from the depth of water and from the land the rain itself is explained to the reader about its origin work and its cycle movement so as you have you read uh, studied in geography about the water cycle it's the same way in this poem it talks about the cycle of the rain and how it is unseen but when it comes the uh, comes to earth it purifies nurtures the soil of the earth a comparison has also been drawn between rain and music as both of them make the world more lively and return to their place of origin after fulfilling their purpose so this poem also have made a comparison between rain and music okay when rain and music goes hand in hand it makes one one's life beautiful and life with purpose life with aim okay whenever in as example when you listen to the rain okay when it's raining and when you listen to the sounds of the rain it calms you from inside it gives you peace okay so let's move on to the stanza wise explanation of the poem Stan let's read stanza one stanza one and who art thou said to the soft falling shower which strains to tell gave me an answer as here translated i am the poem of earth said the voice of the rain so thou means you okay soft falling means dropping softly shower means sh uh, shower here means raindrops okay raindrops when they fall continuously on the earth so let's move on to the explanation part the poem begins with the poet asking for the identity of the soft falling rain shower so the poem begins like the poet who the poet walt whitman is asking the rain to identify itself okay much to the surprise of the poet the rain replies to his question which the poet translate for his reader the rain in its own voice tells the poet that she is the poem of the earth so she is the what rain replies rain replies that she is the poem of the earth means she is the sound of the earth the rain in its own voice okay the rain is trying to say that as music or poetry gives pleasure to human being the rain gives happiness to mother earth so when we listen to music what it's you know, when we listen to music it calms us it makes us relax it makes us enjoy okay the same way the, the rain is the sound for the earth it makes the dry earth deserted earth moisture okay full of life full of what it quenches the thirst of the earth it purifies the earth so the stanza too eternal i rise impalable out of the land and the bottomless sea upward to heaven whence vaguely formed altogether changed and yet the same so what is the meaning of eternal eternal means everlasting uh, impalable means unable to felt by touching bottomless means very deep upward means towards a higher level whence means from where vaguely means unclear form means made into a specific shape or form so let's move on to the explanation part the poet says that the rain is an eternal process so in geographical term we say it a, um, uh, a cycle okay uh, so likewise 
in uh, in literature term we talk, talk rain as a eternal process but it takes different form of different times it rises from land and deep sea in form of intangible water vapor and goes up the sky there it takes an indistinct shape in form of clouds although it changes in its form or shape its core matter remains the same since vapor and clouds contain water they are they can get transformed into the other the word impalpable and eternal indicates the nature is not fully understood and some part of it always remain beyond our reach same way the geographical water cycle okay uh, um, from sea to land then uh, it evaporates the same way in the literature term it is also told that it is an eternal unending process intangible as water vapor goes up into the sky then it forms a shape then in uh, in form of rain it drops okay the same way the vapor go, goes up and it forms a cloud okay then when the vapor is in too much quantity the cloud bursts and it drops into rain okay it um, unable by touching and eternal means everlasting so uh, that the nature is fully understood okay when it rains and it is it, the poet also says that it is beyond our understanding so till here part uh, uh, part 1 and part 2 i have explained in uh, Uh, stanza one and stanza two have explained. In part two, I will be explaining stanza three and stanza four.